Ever seen a fish as big as a bus gliding like an underwater blimp through crystal clear waters? That, my friend, is the whale shark. Don't be fooled by the name, it's not a whale, although its massive size would have you thinking otherwise. It's the largest fish on the planet. I'm Caleb and welcome back to All Things Marine Life. If you love learning about ocean life as much as I do, especially the unbelievably weird and wonderful, then buckle up because today we're exploring one of the most majestic and mysterious creatures of the seas. Also, it's my favorite shark. If you like marine animals as much as I do and you want to learn more about them, feel free to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on anything ocean related that I post. Now, to set the stage, let's raise a few questions that will guide our deep dive into whale sharks. Why are they called whale sharks? How does a massive creature keep from starving when all it eats is microscopic plankton? And what mysteries still swirl around their reproduction, even after decades of research? Got it? Let's go find some answers. First up, is it a shark? Is it a whale? It is indeed a shark. Whale sharks belong to the family Rancontidae, placing them firmly in the shark category, or cartilaginous fish. They get the whale part from their name purely because of their whale-like size. After all, these gentle giants can grow to lengths of 30 to 40 feet, or 9 to 12 meters, or even more, weighing upwards of almost 20 tons. Their wide, flattened head, huge mouths, and unique coloration are truly something to behold. Despite that gigantic mouth, whale sharks have tiny teeth, so you can breathe easy if you happen to snorkel near them. They don't pose a threat to humans whatsoever, which has earned them the nickname Gentle Giants. I can also attest to this because I have indeed had the pleasure of diving with the whale sharks at the Georgia Aquarium in the Ocean Voyager tank. Very amazing experience. I did it when I was 17 years old. Here's some footage to show you me in the tank. You can see me right there. I am the ginger that's standing out among everybody else. So yes, it is the biggest fish in the sea, but ironically one of the most laid back. If that doesn't pique your curiosity, I'm not sure what will. Now let's take a closer look at this polka dot superstar. Whale sharks are covered in a mesmerizing pattern of spots and stripes, each as unique as a human fingerprint. Researchers actually use specialized software similar to what astronomers use to map stars to identify individual whale sharks by scanning these spots. If you've ever heard a diver talk about meeting the same whale shark in different locations, they might recognize it by these patterns. It's like a big swimming ID tag. Pretty neat, right? Another key feature is that giant mouth, sometimes over four feet wide. But don't worry, it's designed for straining plankton from the water, not for chewing swimmers. And also, on a side note, sharks only kill around five to six people per year, while coconuts kill 150 people per year. So if you're scared of sharks, hopefully that eases your fear. Inside the mouth, Hundreds of tiny teeth line their jaws, though they rarely actually get used. Let's just say they're more like fashion accessories than practical tools. Which brings us to their buffet of choice, plankton. Whale sharks glide through the water with their mouths open, filtering tons of water per hour to capture small microscopic organisms like plankton and krill, as well as many small fish or squid species. Their gill rakers act like a giant sieve, trapping these tiny morsels and expelling the excess water through their gills. You might be wondering, how does something so huge survive on such small snacks? Well, whale sharks are essentially the shark version of a baleen whale. Slow, steady eating adds up to a lot of tiny meals that help them maintain that massive body size. It's nature's reminder that you don't have to be a top predator like a gray white to be the biggest fish in the sea. In fact, filter feeding can be a highly efficient strategy when you consider the vast abundance of planktonic life out there. So where do these dotted giants call home? Whale sharks prefer tropical and warm temperate seas. They're highly migratory, often traveling hundreds or even thousands of miles to reach plankton-rich feeding grounds. Places like the Yucatan Peninsula and Mexico, the Maldives, and the Philippines are famous for whale shark sightings, often drawing ecotourists and researchers alike. Sometimes, whale sharks gather in groups called aggregations, especially where plankton blooms are dense. It's like a whale shark potluck. You can see 50 or more of them feeding in the same spot, which is an incredible spectacle for anyone lucky enough to witness it. These aggregations provide valuable opportunities for scientists to tag and study them, unraveling more secrets about their long-distance travels. Now, 
Let's dive into one of the biggest unknowns about whale sharks. How do they reproduce? We do know whale sharks are ovoviviparous like many other sharks. They develop eggs internally and the pups hatch inside the mother before being born alive. One remarkable discovery was a captured female whale shark found with around 300 pups in various stages of development. That's a huge family, although many pups won't survive to adulthood. Beyond this though, there's a lot we don't know. Whale shark mating rituals, specific breeding grounds, gestation periods, all still are under study. The ocean loves its mysteries and whale sharks certainly keep some of the biggest ones tucked away. With more tracking and research, we might one day shed light on these hidden aspects of their life cycle. For all their grace and wonder, whale sharks face serious challenges. In some regions, they've been hunted for their meat, fins, and oil. Though international efforts have made such trade illegal or heavily restricted in many areas, they're also vulnerable to boat strikes. Imagine a slow-moving giant near the surface and a high-speed vessel zooming by. You can see where the problem lies. Another concern is unregulated tourism. While encountering whale sharks in the wild can be life-changing, too much crowding can stress them out or disrupt their feeding. That's why many destinations now enforce guidelines, limiting the number of swimmers, banning flash photography, and requiring safe distances. Overfishing of their plankton or small fish food sources plus climate change also affect whale shark populations. The good news is that conservation programs in marine protected areas are on the rise, aiming to preserve not just whale sharks, but entire marine ecosystems. Before we wrap up, here's some rapid fire whale shark fun facts. Some studies recently suggest that whale sharks have tiny teeth called dermal denticles on their eyeballs, acting like built-in armor against abrasions. How wild is that? They have the thickest skin in the game. Whale sharks reportedly have skin that can be up to four inches thick, making it one of the thickest skins of any animal on earth. While often seen near the surface, whale sharks can dive to depths of over 6,000 feet or 1,800 meters. It's believed they head deep in search of cooler waters or certain prey. They generally cruise alone, but in certain feeding frenzies, dozens may gather where plankton blooms are dense, like a whale shark block party. Whale sharks have been tracked traveling more than 8,000 miles or 12,000 kilometers over the course of a year, showing they can be true oceanic wanderers. Many scientists estimate that whale sharks can live 70 to 100 years, with some speculating they might reach 130 years, making them real ocean elders. Whale sharks typically swim at a leisurely pace of around 3 miles per hour, or 5 kilometers per hour, but that low gear helps them filter massive amounts of water for plankton. They often feed at twilight, often surfacing near the top of the water column during early morning or late evening when plankton concentrations can be the highest. This is all thanks to something known as deal migration, which happens every single day. The largest migration of animals happens every single day on our planet, it's called deal migration. Basically, animals come from the deep up to the surface at night to feed. They don't see perfectly in pitch black, but large rod dominant retinas help whale sharks detect movement at lower light levels, handy for deep dives and nighttime plankton runs. After getting to know whale sharks a bit better, it's clear they're more than just the biggest fish in the sea. They're a symbol of the ocean's vast, mysterious beauty. These gentle polka dotted giants remind us that not every large creature out there is a fearsome hunter. Some simply glide through life, content to feast on the ocean's tiniest treasures. I hope this journey inspires you to appreciate whale sharks and maybe even consider witnessing them in person one day. Responsibly, of course. If you do, remember to follow local guidelines to ensure these giants remain safe and stress-free. If they're on your bucket list, trust me, seeing a whale shark up close is an experience you'll never forget. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of whale sharks, go ahead and tap that like button and subscribe for more marine marvels. Thinking about exploring other creatures? Check out some of my other videos out there. And thanks for watching. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and stay tuned for more awe-inspiring dives into all things marine life.